Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with that 2019-2020 Panini Contenders Optic Basketball. Two box, pick your team number 28 with the Pelicans randomized to someone in this break if you bought at least two teams. I think after 28 breaks, I think most people know the drill by now. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. So now let's sort by your first names. Right here, Matt, you've got four teams, two entries. Matthew Shiro, Mookie Betts, Yard, woo! Mm. Strong, strong. Nick Stober with six teams, three entries. Oliver with two teams, that's an entry. Rodrigo, two teams, one entry. Ryan Shackleton, five to, well, six, four count. Still, still two entries, still two entries. And Sue Min. With eight teams, that's four entries. All right. Let's copy those names in there. So the name on top after three times, Pelicans. One, two, and three. It's Matt Lieber. There you go, Matt. After three times, you get the Pelicans. Not the Pelicans. The Pelicans. Well, let's see what the Pelicans can do with a new coach. We've got a new coach out there. They've got... Why am I blanking on the coach? Oh, yeah, right. Stan Van Gundy. That could be interesting. How long has he been out of coaching? I feel like he's still been doing a lot of announcing, following the game. He's not like he's... doesn't seem like he's out of touch, right? I think he gets the... Wasn't out of hoops for too long. I don't think his, his piston stint is indicative of his coaching talent. Might be good, an old voice, good for a young team. Couple good drafts, maybe a free agent or two. And Zion losing a little bit of LBSs. That could get really interesting. All right, so what is that? Is that the? Is there two base cards down there? Then the autograph? I think so. All right. All right. There's Robert Parrish, winning ticket. For the Celtics, Matt. Where does Chris Paul end up? I feel like he's going to get moved from Oklahoma City. This goes to Sumin and OKC. I heard people talk. He could be an interesting force in Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee can somehow make that move. There's Vince Carter. Season two. I mean, if Chris Paul can, a healthy Chris Paul, especially in the playoffs. Can do what he did with that young OKC team. Imagine what he can do with, with Giannis. Timberwolves with this one. Zoom in. With the Carlton Towns. And behind Gordon Hayward. I've heard some talk about Gordon Hayward maybe getting dealt. We've got Nicola Melli. Pelicans, Matt Lieber. We're looking for his teammate. Sorry, Nicola. Nicolo. Nicola Melli and Gordon Hayward. Celtics, Matt Lieber. All right. Next box. There'll be a lot of interesting changes in the uh, in the NBA, as always. A lot of fun player movement possibilities. Is that an odd? Is that an autograph on the bottom? I think so. Bradley Beal. I think NBA GMing must be the funnest of the GM jobs. There's Zach Levine. It's not like you have to be an NFL GM. You got to think about seven rounds in a draft. You got you, you to gotta not only figure out 
player, like all your offensive line plus guys behind the offensive line. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of players you got to draft. Baseball's kind of a, a long draft too, and as a GM, you're trying to put together minor league teams and minor league contracts and a lot of layers there. That doesn't sound like fun. There's Giannis, but NBA GMing. I guess that sounds like fun. All right, and behind Anthony Davis, champion, is New York Knicks. Alfred Payton, NBA Inc. That goes to Ryan Shackleton and the New York Knickerbockers. All right, so nothing too crazy here. Ryan, that's 13 out of 125. Nothing too crazy here, but... We've got another two boxes in the store right now that we can run back on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check that out, and I'll see you next time for the next one of these, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.